Hello friends, today I have for you first part of two-part video test of a wonderful camera that used to be a relatively small-ish camera, but it isn't anymore. Sony A6700. Today we are going to test it in a real world, just like most of you would use it. Through this video I will jump in and tell you more details about settings, conditions, etc. If you want to see more of tests of this camera itself, as well as comparisons to similar camera competitors, make sure to visit my channel and watch videos that I already posted, as well as videos that I will post soon about testing this camera. Plus, I have still ongoing giveaway for studio equipment and this is the video that you definitely need to watch. Easiest way to not miss any future updates would be by subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell. But for now, Sony A6700, here we go! Sony A6700 has 26 megapixel APS-C XMOR R CMO sensor and Bionzi XR processor. The best way to test this camera is to throw it in a real world. So today I took it to our family friendly hike in one of the most beautiful places in Europe. It's called Rebienok and it's situated just one hour hike from the heart of the Slovakia's highest mountain range called High Tatras, the town called Stary Smokovets. The camera footage you see is from Sony A6700 mounted on a gimbal Zion Weibel S. But for now, let's continue and watch for more from this beautiful scenery.
Everything you see here is a result of everything setting on auto. The Sony A6700S E-mount camera is pretty capable smallish camera that comes from the line of very popular camera predecessors with very similar names like A6000, A6300, A6400. It did rise in size and despite its still acceptable weight, it can feel heavy in hands, especially when you are holding it in the gimbal. But that I mean uh, while hiking and pushing the stroller packed with a lot of food for two hungry boys and about two gallons of water. For recording of this video, I used the Sony 256GB stuff and memory card. All the footage you see is recorded with pretty sweet Sony's wide angle to medium telephoto range, the E18 to 135mm f3.5 to 5.6 OSS lens. This great combination creates definitely vlog friendly camera for everyone who loves Sony cameras lineup. However, there is a new boy in town, which I will be testing hopefully soon on this channel, and it is Panasonic G9 Mark II. And you don't want to miss this. So, make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, as well as the notification bell. This will ensure that you will not miss anything important. At this moment, I must say that you have been wonderful for watching the entire video. Your time and engagement, especially the positive one, really helps to support my work for you on this channel. Thank you very much for that. Now, go quickly watch the giveaway video I was talking about in the beginning. Who knows, maybe it will be you who will win one of those three studio microphones. I wish you good luck and we will see you soon. Ciao!